In Hobo Mobile 1.1, we've added in a time-saving feature for configure and start. In order to get to this, you're going to tap on settings. And then the very top one, we have time-saving options, and you're going to turn on the configure and then tap it to bring it over to the settings. Now, when you go to start your logger, you can either show the configuration or have it start automatically. You can show, you can fill the screen contents from the current logger or the previous configuration. And finally, you can set the default label to the current logger uh, or the serial number. So what I'm going to do is we'll go back to the hobo scene and we're going to set up our first logger here. And we'll just go ahead and connect to it. Basically what I have is four loggers here that I want to set with all the same configuration. So I'll go to configure. Now I'm going to want to default that to the serial number. Let's say I want to put this into the yep group. Um, I want everything to log at a one minute sampling rate. I am going to have this start at a particular date and time, which works. Uh, we'll have this set up for when the memory fills up, it will stop. We're going to set a temperature alarm. And we'll just go ahead and enable that. And we'll hit done. We'll turn on the audible alarm. We'll clear the visual alarms with a alarm and button with a button push, and then we'll go ahead and enable the statistics logging with the max, min, average, and standard deviation, and we will take a sampling rate every five seconds. So now that I've set up this one logger, I'm going to go ahead and hit done, and then I can go ahead and hit start. Now after this logger has been configured, uh, what we can do is go back over to the settings. And in this particular case, I'm going to show you two different ways to do this. So one is leaving the settings like this, so it will uh, show the configuration screen. And there is a reason for that. So we'll tap on the next one here. And this is for, for those of you who may want to change your description so or the label. So we'll go ahead and change this and hit Done. But as you can see, all the other settings here, so starting at 1,500 hours, a one-minute logging interval, uh, our temperature alarms are set, and the statistics are set. So all of that stuff stayed the same. So once we've just changed the label, I can then go ahead and hit start. Now the other way to do this, and we'll just go back into the settings, is to change this so it automatically starts. And in this particular case, I'm going to have everything default to the serial number. Uh, we actually do use a unique serial number for uh, every logger, so you can track your, your loggers that way if you so choose. And we'll come back to the hobo scene, and then I'm going to come down, and I'm going to select this one here. Uh, as you can see, it says in one box. It's, it's currently configured in logging. We're going to go ahead and tap on it. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and tap on configure. It says you're, you're already, do we really want to do this? Yes, I do. And automatically it goes ahead and sends the information out. Now, as you can see, it changed the serial, uh, the label to the serial number. It put it in the yep group. It's waiting for a delayed start. And if you want to confirm the rest of the status, you tap on full status details and then current configuration. Now, as you can see here, uh, we're waiting for a delayed start at 1,500 hours. We have our high and low temperature alarm set, along with the audible alarm, and then all of the statistics. So this is really a quick and easy way if you're going to deploy a lot of loggers all with the same configuration. Just go in and change uh, your settings here. 
under configure. Now there's a couple different options. Uh, what I do recommend is, is taking a look at the manual which will explain these in more details.